on this, it will usually be uh, two or three hours before ground controllers hold a news conference to uh, to discuss the problem. As you heard right there, they are simply trying to go through the uh, lengthy safing process to turn everything off inside the uh, the shuttle Discovery. Let's listen in. This is the uh, third time for a main engine cutoff. Uh, first time being mission 51F, uh, then uh, 41D for Discovery in August 84. So this is the uh, second time this has happened for Discovery. And 55 uh, cutoff was Discovery. The, uh, The 51F was the uh, Challenger uh, cutoff. That was the first one and uh, the most recent in the spring this year, Columbia on STS-55. Today's uh, delay, today's launch scrub, it creates a problem, a scheduling problem for NASA. There were eight shuttle missions planned for this year, and already this delay, this nearly month-long delay, is expected to push one of the, the high points of the shuttle mission uh, into next year. That was the planned November launch of Discovery, a launch that would include a Soviet cosmonaut on board as part of a joint uh, series of joint U.S.-Russian uh, missions. Uh, John Zarella is, is there at the Cape. John, we have seen this main engine shut off uh, two other times before the last time with, uh, very recently with Columbia. This, as I was saying earlier, should take a while because my recollection is they end up changing out the engines. No doubt about that, Tony. It, if uh, they find that it is a problem, uh, it might likely be the engine that has to be changed out. It could also be just a bad sensor, but uh, it's going to take some time to determine that. One of the interesting things about Discovery is that NASA has always maintained that for whatever reason, Discovery is the cleanest of the shuttle vehicles, and they very rarely have delays of this magnitude, three now for technical problems with Discovery. But uh, as you mentioned earlier before the launch, it does appear uh, the word jinxed is, a, is appropriate for the vehicle this time around. Tony? And John, you know, this comes at a, uh, an inopportune time for NASA as the nation focuses on uh, spending for, for programs, this, the space station, uh, for example, to see NASA uh, trip uh, time after time after time being unable to, to put the shuttle in orbit certainly puts additional pressure on the, uh, the space agency at this time of budget cuts and, and increases the kind of strength that uh, opponents perhaps of the, uh, the space station may have in saying that uh, the technology is, is not either there or the, the ability, NASA's ability to, to get uh, shuttles into space uh, is, not, is not what uh, is expected, not worth the cost. So that's something undoubtedly we will, we will watch. John, the Hubble telescope Other mission, the repair mission scheduled we, for uh, December is still on the books. Will this, do you think this will delay that? Will, will that push, uh, this push that into uh, next year? Well, I certainly don't think NASA wants to do that. Uh, they are already, the astronauts are preparing for the mission. They would probably like to get that one off the ground, if at all possible, um, and get that repair mission out of the way. Um, I think it's also interesting to note that uh, from the flip side of what you say, that uh, NASA's response will be yes but we're erring at all times on the side of caution uh, when we have these delays although in this case it was a shutdown by the computer system and they will tell you that the uh, the hardware the software is doing what it's supposed to do so that uh, we don't end up with catastrophic disasters uh, like the Challenger incident because things are working properly the safeties the backups that have been built in uh, there's no doubt though that it's certainly um, 
does come at a bad time. I know that uh, the building that uh, will house a lot of the uh, space sta the space station uh, equipment as it's being built and assembled here at the Kennedy Space okay, Center is already going up. They're making good progress on that. Uh, but there is a lot of concern here among NASA employees and contractors. The what if the space station does not get funded fully? What if they can't put the space station up? Uh, you're literally looking at uh, just the space shuttle program, and uh, the space shuttle program, as we see, is not always as reliable as NASA would like it to be. Tony? But John, as you say, those safeguards uh, prevent the kind of disaster that was seen in Challenger and many people. Uh, John Pike, for example, from the Federation of American Scientists has indicated before that if there was another Challenger-type disaster, that that could could spell an end for the uh, space program entirely. So as uh, John Sorella says, the, uh, the thing, the comments that NASA has is that the safeguards are working, and that's, that's what we have seen uh, this morning. Once again, there was a, an irregularity in a, the flow rate, fuel flow rate to engine number two. The computers on board the shuttle Discovery cut off the engines at T-minus three seconds. What we have been seeing for the past several minutes is uh, work around the shuttle as the astronauts uh, go through the process of safing the shuttle, and then the astronauts will leave uh, a little bit later. Let's listen in. Crew is safe. Uh, all conditions at the launch pad are stable. We're still uh, assessing uh, the reality of this problem as to whether or not there really was a, uh, a fuel flow problem or whether or not the uh, sensor A2 simply did not perform. Okay, on step 83 to release the uh, closeout crew from the BDA into the pad, the only thing we're waiting on is a uh, lock stable drain. The other uh, seven sub steps on page 1068 have been verified. And PBC entity. Let me just re-verify sub-step 6. Let me recap briefly what has happened. Uh, the countdown was going smoothly. The weather at the Cape was excellent this morning. The five astronauts that were on board the shuttle Discovery as the countdown clock ticked down to three mi or T minus three seconds. And then computers on board Discovery shut down the engines. Let's see what happened. Standing by to activate the sound suppression water system in five seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Go for main engine start. Three main engines up and burning. Three, we have a cutoff. So to recap, the engines shut off at T minus three seconds. Discovery, apparently a problem with the fuel flow rate going to engine number two. The astronauts are all safe. They are still on board Discovery going through the process of safing the, uh, the space shuttle. It is expected that it will take several days, uh, perhaps a couple, two, three weeks before NASA is ready to try once again to uh, launch the shuttle Discovery. There will be a briefing later this morning by ground controllers to discuss the problem and what the alternatives are, what the options, and what the schedule will be. And, of course, CNN will be watching that and bring you that information later today. I'm Tony Clark at CNN Center. We'll be re-entering shortly. We have no word on when there might be another. Tony Clark joins us now to tell us what he has learned about what's behind this morning's scrub also about what's ahead for the space agency itself, Tony. Bob, right now what we're watching is the White Room. We just saw astronaut uh, Jim Newman come out. This was going to be his first flight into space, and it was also going to be the time that he did a uh, spacewalk. He is a rookie uh, astronaut. So far, three of the five crew members have come out of the White Room. It was a frustrating day, uh, but it is not an unusual thing for these uh, five astronauts. They've been through this twice before, twice before NASA has, because of equipment problems, had to scrub the mission. This countdown got down to T minus three seconds before computers on board the shuttle Discovery shut the engines down. Let's look at how it happened. Nine, eight, seven. Go for main engine start. Three main engines up and burning. Three, we have a cutoff. 
This is the uh, fourth time that NASA has had an engine shutdown on the launch pad in all of its 12-year uh, history. It is a difficult problem for NASA and will probably take uh, several weeks to replace those engines. That's what we saw earlier this year when a similar thing happened on the, uh, the shuttle Columbia. NASA says that it appears the problem was with the fuel flow rate to engine number two. Sensors on board the shuttle Discovery indicated a problem in the flow of fuel there and so as a safety precaution they shut the uh, engines down once the engines start to fire that is is what uh, creates the the lengthy delay because as we saw earlier this year that it, it forced nasa to replace those engines we got word a short time ago that the five astronauts uh, will probably after lunch fly back to houston to the johnson space center because of the delay later this morning we expect uh, launch director bob seek to hold a news conference to to discuss the problem and the various options that NASA has. 